Hi folks, today we're gonna to take a walk around a Load Trail CH10. That's a 99, 90 pound GVW car hauler. As shown here is a seven by 20. Mainly this is a standard stock build. Although with most Texas manufacturers, uh, some of the different options you see here, while minor, do need to be optioned in. So let's take you for a walk around the trailer. We show you all the features they put on this. We're gonna start out up front. It's got a uh, four hole adjustable coupler. Notice that is a cast coupler, not a stamped. Of course, it's got your safety chains. Uh, this is equipped with an optional cold weather rated harness. That would be the blue whip. And of course, uh, it's got a seven pin blade as would be equipped on most all trucks nowadays. It does have the setback drop leg jack. If you're not familiar with the drop leg jack, a few nice features. One, it's got a gray zert for serviceability. Uh, it is a sidewind handle. And then also it's got the inner leg. So this makes it nice. Uh, it'll extend far enough. You don't need a block of wood or whatnot. Uh, simply pull the pin there, the inner leg uh, goes out and then you can use the handle to extend it farther. Of course, it's got your breakaway battery. It's got a reinforcement in the A-frame. So as with most 10,000 uh, pound trailers, this is a five inch channel tongue and a five inch channel mainframe. Most in the industry do use channel. Occasionally you'll catch some angle iron in the industry. Now it is a full wrap tongue. So it wraps the whole way back to your spring hangers for extra strength. Notice it's also got reflector tape. So reflector tape is actually not required on trailers under 10K, but they go ahead and uh, wrap the trailer in the reflector tape. Nice little add for some extra visibility. Also notice it's got pinstriping. This isn't something that you see in all trailers. Uh, it does give it a, a different look. Nice, uh, kind of a neat little attention to detail in the trailer. They've got uh, all LED lighting. So rubber grommeted lights, they've got a little bit of give to them if something were to hit them. You've got stake pockets going down the sides for tie downs. You've also got your D-rings as well. It's got a two by eight pressure treated deck. Underneath the deck are channel cross members on 24 centers. So most 10K car haulers are gonna have 24 inch on center, but most are gonna be a lighter angle iron. These here are gonna be structural channel. Again, it is three inch channel. I'll show you the underside of the trailer here. So here's your structural channel and then your axles. Axles on this are a Dexter axle, as with most car haulers, uh, they are a straight axle. These have the newer never adjusting brakes, which basically means the brakes self adjust, um, just like a, a car style brake assembly. These also have the easy lube hubs, so behind the black cap on the end of the axle, uh, a homeowner sometimes, if it's nice and warm out, unlike today, you can peel that off with your finger, otherwise take a flat bladed screwdriver. Behind it's a greaser, you can service your bearings. So as with, as with most 50, 200 pound axles, it's gonna be a six lug axle. Of course, uh, standard eye to eye suspension, as is typical in most 52s. Uh, on these, they do a 225-75 load range D, eight ply radial tire, that is standard equipment. Something you don't always see on uh, see on car trailers would be a double broke fender. This is more of an equipment style fender. Double broke makes it stronger than a radius fender would be. It's the extra bends in the fender. And then it's also gonna have a removable fender. So if you wanna remove it, simply pull that out of the front and the back and uh, you can take the fender off. Now some people would say, what do I need that for? The answer would be simple. If you need to replace a fender, it certainly makes it a whole lot nicer and easier. And also, if you ever wanted to side load the trailer, if you wanted to fork a skid or something like that on from the side, it makes it nicer. Also, if you have a low profile car, removing the fender would certainly make it easier to do that. Uh, the black mod wheels are also a standard feature on this. Give it a, a different look. Give it a more of a blackout look on the trailer. Uh, a beaver tail is not standard on these, but pretty much most of these are gonna go through and get built with a two foot beaver tail. Certainly all of ours uh, we equip that way. So it's got a two foot beaver tail. Uh, it's actually got a gusset on the beaver tail as well. So a little bit extra strength there. That's not something you typically see on a car trailer. In fact, even on most 14K equipment trailers, we don't see that gusset plate. Uh, certainly gives some extra strength uh, to that area where you'd have a break in the steel. Also, it's got a uh, rear board retainer, a rear board transition back there. So if something comes up, drags there, it's not gonna rip your wood all up, makes it easy to replace the deck. Uh, pretty easy to replace. 
Uh, of course, this is equipped with brakes on both axles, as is required in Pennsylvania and some of our surrounding states. Uh, Five-foot pull-out ramps are also equipped on this particular unit. They are a rear pull-out, so underneath there you can see it's going to hinge down. These are a little bit wider ramp than some. I would say they're probably about 16 inches. Uh, a lot in the industry are going to be about 13. And again, they are a rear pullout, which makes them nice. They're a hook style ramp, so it allows it to slide the whole way uh, across the trailer there. There are some reinforcements, but they're down low enough that they're not in the way. So again, can slide it the whole way across. Now, sometimes we do have extra ramps around for these. So if somebody wants a third ramp, uh, we can do that or certainly can order one uh, with an extra ramp if need be. There are also other ramp style configurations on this. You can do a third ramp, you can do stand up ramps. Uh, you can go with a full width gate. A uh, handful of different styles are available in this particular model. You can also get this in a gooseneck model as well. However, the majority of these are gonna be a tag trailer. Most common size on this is a 20 foot with slide outs. We also stock them in a 22 foot as well. A trailer like this is gonna weigh in at about 2,400 pounds empty. It's going to give a net legal payload of about 7,600 pounds plus ton weight. More than enough to haul most half ton trucks and even capable of hauling some three quarter ton trucks. Uh, certainly also uh, two UTVs would be quite common on these as well. If you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, feel free to give us a ring at 717-220-4220 or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.